You are welcome to Messiah Revelation Ministry. If you remember some time ago, um, I did a video on uh, Watch Woman 65 and another uh, uh, gentleman, uh, Tim Henderson. Uh, these people are key uh, preachers of the so-called once saved, always saved. They argue that once you are saved, uh, you are saved until the day of redemption. You don't have to repent, you don't have to do any work. Um, I did a video uh, where I rebuked, rebuked uh, these uh, people. And I've seen that they have not repented. And for Watch Woman 65, who is called Lisa Boyce, now what she does is that for every video she does on the YouTube, uh, she repeats the blasphemy that um, there's no repentance. I've watched her since I made the video and um, she sh shocked me. Watch Woman 65, aka Lisa Boyce. Um, she said that repentance of sins is not in the Bible. She said it. Number two, she also says that obedience is not needed. You don't have to obey Jesus Christ. Why? Lisa Boyce or Watch Woman 65 is saying that nobody can obey Jesus Christ 100%. And therefore, you don't have to obey Jesus Christ. Oh, you remember the case of King Saul? What the prophet um, Samuel told King Saul to obey is better than sacrifice. You have to obey. Lisa Boyce or Watch Woman 65 is saying that you don't have to obey Jesus Christ. And she's saying that Jesus knows that we cannot obey him. We cannot obey him 100%. And therefore, obedience is not required for salvation. Obedience to Jesus Christ is not required for salvation. This is what Watch Woman 65, Lisa Boyce, is telling her YouTube subscribers. Lisa Boyce is also saying that you can deny Jesus and still be saved. You can deny Jesus. Uh, you remember the story of Peter who denied Jesus. Uh, he denied Jesus and Jesus prophesied that Peter would deny him three times and it happened. Do you know what happened to Peter after he realized he denied Jesus? He was so sorrowful. He was so sorrowful. Uh, he was very bitter about it and he repented. Later, Peter would do everything and tradition says that he was crucified. He was killed. He died. He died. He was a martyr for Jesus Christ. He didn't deny Jesus. He followed Jesus to death. Stephen also did the same thing. So if Lisa Boyce or Watchman 65 is saying that you can deny Jesus and still be saved, she is telling you blasphemy. And what she's doing shows that we are at the end of days. And Jesus warned us in Matthew chapter 24 verse 4 that in the end of days, people will come and deceive you with blasphemous scriptures with preachings that deny Jesus, with preachings that tell you that you don't have to obey Jesus Christ, with preachings that tell you that 
you don't have to repent of your sins. Lisa Boyce is saying that when you believe in Jesus Christ, that's it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to add anything to it. And that's it. It's a very cheap gospel. This is not the gospel that was preached by Paul. But Lisa Boyce is always citing the writings of Paul. He's always citing the writings of... Um, uh, he's citing Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. She lies that scripture. She doesn't talk about James chapter 2, verse 28. James is saying that faith without work is dead. This is what Watch Woman 65 is doing. Um, she is part of a clique or a court. Number one, they are saying that uh, grace, they, they, they call people, uh, they call themselves, they belong to the grace community. And they mockingly say that other people belong to the work community. So they are making a distinction between grace preachers and work preachers. And they are saying that if you don't preach grace alone, then you are taking people to hell. They don't want to talk about repentance. They don't want to talk about work. Even though James is saying that your faith without any work is dead. It's a dead faith. I've never heard Lisa Boyce or Tim um, Henderson talk about James chapter 2 verse 26. Um, I've realized that Lisa Boyce is being mentored by Tim Henderson. Uh, I, I guess Tim Henderson, uh, I will call him the court leader of the OSAS. Once saved, always saved. They also mentioned another guy by name Greg Jackson. And G-R-E-G-G -G -G Jackson. Greg Jackson also talks about the same one saved, always saved. You don't have to repent. You don't have to obey Jesus Christ. Repentance is not in the Bible. This is what they are preaching. They are preaching this false um, gospel. They mention the name of Jesus. Uh, Lisa Boyce mentions the name of Jesus. And that is the deception. Behold, they will mention the name of Jesus, but at the same time, they will deny Jesus. What's the point of mentioning the name of Jesus and at the same time telling subscribers that you don't have to obey Jesus, you don't have to repent of your sins, and you, don't have, you, you can deny Jesus? What's the point of mentioning the name of Jesus to people? If not, to deceive them, what's the point of mentioning the name of Jesus? Um, Lisa Boyce and Tim Henderson always talk about current events um, to draw attention uh, to the fact that the rapture is coming. They are always setting dates for the rapture uh, in order to hook people to their channel. At the same time, they are telling people falsely that they don't have to obey Jesus Christ, they don't have to repent of their sins, and they can even deny Jesus and still be saved. Uh, Lisa Boyce is saying that if you come to her channel and you criticize her, she will unsubscribe you. She will block your comments. This is what um, she's doing. She's, doing, she's using intimidation uh, to, uh, to fool people, uh, to um, jack, uh, gag people, and to destroy people and take them to hell. So if you ever see uh, Watchman 65 or Tim Henderson or any of those other preachers of once saved, always saved, please remember that that is not the gospel. Uh, the gospel requires us to repent of our sins. The gospel requires us to obey the, all the commandments of Jesus Christ to be holy and we have to be faithful 
to the end. We have to be holy. That's what the scripture says. Uh, with that holiness, you cannot um, see God. Um, nobody can be 100% holy, but to tell people that you don't have to repent, you don't have to um, obey Jesus, and you can even deny Jesus, this is heresy. So watch Lisa Boyce, a.k.a. Watch Woman 65, and her mentor, uh, Tim Henderson, Pastor Tim Henderson. This is Messiah Revelation Ministry are letting you that in the last days people will preach doctrines of demons and watch woman 65 aka lisa boyce and her mentor um, tim henderson from illinois these people are deceiving you so watch them and don't let them deceive you read matthew chapter 24 verse 4 where jesus wants us not to be deceived in the last days. If the time is not cut short, the very elect will be deceived, particularly if they listen to Watchwoman 65, aka Lisa Boyce, and Tim Henderson, her mentor. This is Messiah Revelation Ministry um, warning you about deceptive doctrines in the last days as they are being preached by Watchwoman 65 and Tim Henderson. Thank you.